For decades, a group of Prince George residents have been asking for a new performing arts center. Recently, council decided to move the idea off the back burner. It's now one of the city's strategic priorities. Council wanted to step up the planning process. The latest step, calling people up and asking them to weigh in. Theater Northwest, the Playhouse, all the important people in my life here together, and Vanier Hall. They're at the center of Prince George's art scene. City Hall hired a company to make 450 phone calls, asking people how often they enjoy live entertainment, like theater, music, and comedy. The results may help decide if the city moves ahead with the Performing Arts Centre project. There's a, a group that are fully supportive of it and think we should have built it, you know, 10 years ago or we should be under construction now. Uh, there's another group that say that we should be focusing on our funds on other uh, core projects to the city. Um, so there's a, a real divergence of opinion around this. The city spent $20,000 to have Malatest do the survey. It's just wrapped up. We do have some good productions, but they're in cramped spaces in the back of a high school or something like that. And if somewhere like Prince Rupert and somewhere like Dawson Creek can have a performing arts centre, and we're supposedly the centre of the North, why can't we have one too? I would be surprised because it's nice to have, you know, input that they're, they're actually care enough to give us a call and get our input on it. And Prince George is full of a bunch of, a bunch of rednecks anyway. <laughs> so how many people actually <laughs> go to the arts? Whether Prince George wants to replace its aging theatre venues may not be the Performing Arts Centre's only hurdle. It comes down to dollars and cents. We cannot move this project forward without funding. And if there's no funding for it, then it can't be built, plain and simple. Councillor Cameron Stoltz says the city's best funding option is a P3, or public-private partnership. The city would take on some of the cost, giving up a piece of land for the project. One proposed site is right next to City Hall. The province would have to chip in before the federal government would contribute. Even then, the arts centre would need another investor. It could be a private individual or a private corporation stepping in and saying we want to fund that. Uh, or it could be society actually stepping up and saying we are going to take on the fundraising for our share of the capital of that. And then we've got a plan to be able to, to uh, deal with some of the operating costs moving forward. The telephone survey is the latest development in the planning for the Performing Arts Centre. There'll be a wait to find out how Prince George residents responded. The results will be presented to Council in June. Camille McDonald, CKPG News.